talents of the musicians around me. You know, I go, la, 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 and, and they pick up what those notes are. You know, actually, I am able to pick out notes now, but when we first started, I would literally ask someone, what's this note, what's that note, write it down on a napkin, and then I would take it in to the guys, and they mm -hmm. would craft a song. And right. so it was really a collaboration, but all of the songs on this album are originals that I wrote and I'm actually working on another album of originals that um, hopefully will be you know out before Christmas that's what I'm that's my goal what kind of band you can consider you are what they say your mentors oh who are my mentors well yeah. actually it's, it's interesting um, so Steve Freund who mm -hmm. was a Chicago bluesman um, he was the first person who invited me up on stage at the saloon in San Francisco. Now, the saloon is the oldest bar in San Francisco, and it's where Janis Joplin used to sing. Wow. Yeah, so I stood on the same milk crates as, as Janis Joplin singing with Steve Freund. Um, uh, Volker Striffler was a mentor. Don Bassey was a mentor. There's there's a lot of local. I mean, I just want to say that the musicians, the the North Bay musicians, because I didn't limit. I had a actually had a residency down at Biscuits and Blues in San Francisco, okay. and um, that was another thing that was just a, an amazing adventure. We had a standing gig the third Thursday of every month at eleven o'clock at night. <laughs> we would go down and play in San Francisco. Wow. Uh, unfortunately, Biscuits and Blues uh, ended up having to close its doors during COVID, and it took them five years. They just recently opened back up, too. So, um, you know, COVID, COVID took its toll on live music, definitely. It, it, it knocked a lot of the, you know, I, I, in fact, a lot of the places that I used to play aren't even... In business anymore unfortunately because you know when when you rely on you know people coming out you know when you're kind of on a right. you know most most live music venues are sort of run on you know chewing gum and <laughs> right so <laughs> yeah. you told me about your corner are you uh, what is a fan of John Lennon John Lennon fan oh yeah I'm a huge John Lennon fan mm -hmm. yeah definitely um, I had nothing to do with <laughs> Stevens, right. he just, it's just a little, you know, kind of inside right. joke that I like to say that he, he got his start with me, but, you know, we, we were his first uh, album that he, he produced with, uh, you know, after he, after he got out of school, but he went on to do some really awesome things. And he's still, in fact, I'm working with Steven on my, on my next album, too, uh -huh. so. Um, so, from this album, you have, well, 12 uh, songs. What is your favorite song? Um, my favorite song. Yeah. Oh, uh, you have one favorite. Okay, I have two favorites okay. actually. There's one song called "Nasty Habits" that Nas is "Nasty Habits." Mm -hmm. Where is it? Okay, "Nasty Habits." Mm, right there, "Nasty oh, Habits." Nasty right? Habits. There's and love different. and love me all the way. Oh yeah. Those two songs between yeah. those two, they really um, kind of encapsulate how I feel about music. Uh, Nasty Habit is just this really great jam. That's Can you like, sing me a little bit of uh, Nasty Habit? Uh, <laughs> to, to, to know what kind of music is that. So, a little bit. So. Oh, hey. You know I know I'm trouble, but I give the devil his due. He never made much trouble till the day he met you. I know it's a mistake and I should just leave you alone. Never play with matches, don't pick up that phone, but I dance around the fire, cause it's all I can take. You're just a nasty habit, I can't seem to break. Oh, every time you're near, my body starts to shake. You're just a nasty habit, I can't seem to break. Wow. Bravo, bravo, bravo. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, look at the audience. Look at the audience. We have audience for anywhere. Yeah. So, and uh, you say, love me all the way. Love me all the way, yeah. Can you show me a little bit, love me all the way? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Kissing and hugging, baby. Well, that's just fine. We can talk all night long, just pour me another glass of wine, yeah. But 
if you're saving love for just another rainy day, then listen up, darling, I got something to say. Well, you can't tease me, baby, I won't run away, but if you're gonna love me, baby, love me all the way. I said, if you're gonna love me, baby, love me all the way. Woohoo! <laughs> bravo, bravo. Sax solo. <laughs> Amazing. You know, um, Amazing. the title song of this album, uh -huh. there's a little story there. It's mm -hmm. called You Don't Know Me, But You Should. And that was. I know you. <laughs> yeah, you do now, right? You right. don't know me, but you yeah. should. And my friend yeah. Steve Freund, who did give me my start in uh, singing down at the saloon in San Francisco, like I said, he had a song called She Was a Good Old Ride. Mm -hmm. And so You Don't Know Me, But You Should was sort of my response to his song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, so it's got a lot of car metaphors in it. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Yeah. That's a very, very good uh, song inside of Nuclear Blonde. Yeah. What do you think, the audience? Like it? Oh. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> Infinity and beyond. Infinity and beyond, exactly. You guys are going to be here on September 14th, right? They wouldn't miss it for the world. They wouldn't miss it for the world. Do you hear that? Wow. Yay. Amazing. Yeah, so it's September 14th. It uh, starts at 6. I've got Helen Mead opening for me. Mm -hmm. And then my full band will be here, and we're going to blow the doors off, I think. <laughs> We're going to blow the doors off. Oh, everybody welcome, right? Yeah, everybody's yeah. welcome. It is a the last of this summer's free unbottled concert series. Yeah. Last night we had Astra. You were here. That was, yeah. that was so Astra's awesome. Yeah, amazing too. Astra right. is so amazing. Yeah. Exactly. And Astra, actually, I got another event the following weekend. We're doing a Season of Change Wellness Summit, and Astra is going to be our musical performer yes. at at our events so uh this you know the napa Valley center for spiritual living is hopping you know you should check out our website nbcsl.org and you can find in information about this concert that i'm doing the summit we have a uh we're gonna do have some dancers here doing a dance of universal peace um there's just all kinds of things that are happening at the Napa Valley Center for Spiritual Living. And Reverend Jay is amazing, right? And Reverend Jay is amazing. He's right. like so supportive and so amazing. Um, I'm actually a practitioner here at the church as well. Oh, you are? You I are am. a practitioner? I am a practitioner, wow. yeah. Wow. I know. It, you know, it took me uh, 25 years. I actually took classes to become a practitioner 25 years ago. But then I went out and started singing in bars. And I was like, it didn't quite jive you know to be singing in bars and then praying with people it just i don't know it took me 25 years to kind of merge the two halves of my personality you know congratulations the, the nuclear blonde I'm so <laughs> to bring proud. nuclear nuclear blonde into the forefront now so, so. proud of you oh so thank, proud you. You. thank so you so thank you so much Shannon. Yeah. thank you so much thank you i appreciate you yeah. and well so thank you for be here thank you for your creation thank you for make yeah, this for will, the people i will have copies of my album here on september 14th and you can go to nuclearblonde.com if you'd like to uh check check me out i'm on cd baby you, you know spotify i'm all over the place so. all right nuclear blonde YouTube. why not <laughs> thank you so much thank you <laughs>